it's due. Time for number three on Friday, the 13th. I am the writing to slow down. Let's get to a hot bed. Hi, everyone. This year, our family is raising money for St. Jude Children's Hospital. We're going to leave a link in the description to our St. Ian's donation page. If you would like our haunt, please consider donating. Thanks. guys, welcome back to another video, mm -hmm. and this is my third hot bed. Yep. So, the third hot bed. just activated that. <laughs> the wrench hit him in the head, but this, we have plenty of the animatronics out. We're going to come and take him back from the show, so he's going to get away in a few days. And this wrench just hit him right in the head. <laughs> so, plus we have this little pipe thing that can play his Bird poop on it. Yeah, bird poop Looks on like it. there's gas coming out. I'm gonna put like a little tube in there. It's kind of cool. Then we have this old like our old mailbox that mm -hmm. we use. Then we got old caution tape from last year. And we have Romeo and Teeth all out. We can't roam her on our driveway. It's way too steep. She likes face plants. Yeah. We got more caution tape. We have. Welcome to the fourth sign. And then we got welcome to the time to first turn back. And then this turn is going to be on. And then we finally have the light. We have the uh, light. Then we got the devil. He's just down there chilling by the dead zone sign. And then, and then this guy chose. Yeah. I, I can't stop his mouth like... The it changes. <laughs> and then we have the abandoned graveyard from um, 2021. We just recreated it. And then we got the choking spider. Then we finally got, got to the tree. We Yay! lost him in 2021, but now we found him at Target. Van Grey card if I didn't say that. It looks pretty cool. And then we got another jumping spider. We actually stretched out the web so we have more. Then here is the swamp. Gotta fix this little hand. And then we got the jumping spider that just jumped at you. Then we have the lunging hand. Oh wait, we forgot! The dropping mat! Oh, the dropping mat! Yeah, 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 we can't forget that. So this is the dropping mat. This, this is the thing. All right, guys, so this was a reefer, and, and then there's one over there that is the same, but different. It has chains. Oh, yeah, yeah so, so, so we're going to see him a new version. Here, we change up the ghost a little. I feel like if he was holding a hand less time, now he's holding a frisbee. I'm probably gonna put the hot spot on there. So he would be like, yeah, maybe one day. But this is the little carnival thing. We have a girl over here. We added some, I added some like brains or hearts. Yeah. This guy's holding an eyeball. Yeah, so this is a butcher's area here. And we got this little guy. This little guy. So, with the curl. Oh my god, that he vibrated. He vibrates a lot. <laughs> and then we got this guy. He's like, how about we just turn? How about we turn it off? <laughs> so then we got the candy bowl. Yep, that's how you do. He's driving candy. He's not really there. He just keeps and has like a little thing walking. 
looking around. He got some secret cans to light up there. He's pretty cool. He's actually lighting up in this haunt build. We have everything on now. Yeah. Even the lights are on. We just, you probably won't be able to see him as well in the daytime. But then we have this guy with his, I just don't really like the lights. It's kind of creepy. But then we have this, this thing getting chopped. We have this guy who's been, yeah, impaled by a thing. Then he can walk with a pumpkin patch, hunting scarecrow, dives down at you. And then, then, and then it goes to, and then it comes to a creepy phase. Then we have the pumpkin patch. You can see my scarecrow hanging there. Then we got if he turns around. Then we got chicken chain scarecrow. He'll be in a different spot. We might move him to like hanging in the trees. But we have him there for now. So then we have the pumpkin patch. My scarecrow won't show the He's a little shy. <laughs> then we have this light up pumpkin that we forgot lit up. And it's been through lots of rain. And it work and it still works. That's pretty impressive. So then we got the pumpkin patch. There's my scarecrow's face. If you can finally show in him. And then you just see a bunch of pine straw. And then this guy comes popping out. Right here, and then You're going to have to write this a bunch in Halloween. And there's this little guy hanging up there. He's pretty high up. Yeah, he's up there. And this was the Reaper when we first brought him. The Reaper on the dropping mat. The dropping mat doesn't have the chains anymore. Hair's messed up. Not the hanger or the hands. We just got to put all this pine straw back where he, he belongs. Just bury him again. Then we have the cemetery. Yeah, it's kind of hard to bury him again. So, cover his face. We got the gate here. Nothing really has changed here except there's like webs. Uh, I'll come charging out. Yeah, you sure have to jump a web there. And we have, um, that skeleton with a shovel. The sun's in my eyes. Oh, I gotta show you guys the coffin. Should we turn on? So this guy keeps his chest keeps getting buried. So I'm gonna have to uncover that a bunch, but he's got some bones shown here. And this guy has a light up skull. I don't think you can see it that well, but there's like a light in there. It looks pretty cool. Hudson will show you the final stuff back there. There you go for the sketchy corner here, and then we got a grave watch here. Hello, I ain't there, my friend. How do you turn around? <laughs> Hello! I don't think she's on. I ain't there. Alright, so we're, I'm just turning her on back here. Where's her on switch? Oh, it's down here. Okay, so here's Watson. So you so when you exit the levee area and you get into this like biohazard 